Uh, it's just uh, while we're on the topic of China, how are you enjoying the U.S. elections at the moment? <laughs> how do you think that's going? Absolute shit show. It's, it's just a unreal. hell of a shit show. Well, like I, I honestly, I have no idea how it's going to go. I have no idea how it's going to go. Like, I know they're, they're beginning like the transition of power and stuff like that, apparently, but then apparently there's also an investigation going into it and everything. Like, is it is it going to be Biden? Is it going to be Trump? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know. Like, If it's not Trump, then I'm going to be disappointed that we're not going to get four more years of crying. But, <laughs> and madness. Oh, yeah, crying and madness and... Like I, I miss the days when everyone was like, "Trump's going to put everyone into camps. He's going to put us all into camps," and everything. And then that obviously never happened. Uh, There's not been any like, wars really either. It. It's been he's been very low on the war thing. But obviously, the big rumor now is that he's going to have a pop at Iran just before just before he leaves to, to ensure a nice smooth transition for Joe Biden. He's going to bomb Iran. And at first I was like, oh, it's all just bollocks. And then a, a story came out saying that the United Arab Emirates have banned visas for 13 Muslim countries um, aligned with Iran, including Pakistan, Turkey, and some other kind of stands that are out there. And I'm just really? thinking, what a fuck you that would be, wouldn't it? I'm just going to start a small war with Iran. And there you go, Mr. Biden. It's all yours, Mr. President. Okay, <laughs> so that is... Is that is that the presidential like, world leader equivalent of taking a shit on your oh, desk before yeah. you leave? <laughs> <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> How do you like that one? I mean, that would yeah. be that would be the greatest fuck you ever won. I'm just gonna start a war. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm yeah. gonna pardon <laughs> Flynn and start a war. Fuck it. He should pardon, he, I think what he should do is he should. Pardon Assange, pardon Manon, pardon Snowden, pardon Ulbricht, and then just drop the microphone and moonwalk out the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Have at it. Fucking well, deal with that. Like. I mean, wouldn't you, though? You, you, you know, I, it's difficult, isn't it? Because Donald Trump, not the sort of guy you'd, you'd want to hang out with very often. The man has a shit on a gold toilet. He's not one of the people. But, you know, he, I. Apart from the absolute shit posting on Twitter, and which has been fucking beautiful, by the way, as far as I was yeah. concerned, every day you'd wake up as he had the caps lock on tonight. Oh, he's had the caps lock on, fantastic! But anyone leaving under all this, uh, he, he, he's played it really well with that. Look, guys, I've done my best. I've done it, but he's, he's crooked. It's Ben, and you got Twitter saying he's full of shit. He's full of shit. It doesn't matter. It's Ben. I think the way to leave would be that. Pardon those guys. Pardon a few fucking randoms. Maybe some of the black guys that Kamala Harris tried to keep in prison. They'd be good ones. Oh, to yeah. pardon. A, few, a few of those would be good, yeah. I think if imagine imagine pardon everyone. <laughs> never mind, <laughs> never, mind never mind a warrior run. And you know, man, he should he should do he should do something like that. I'll tell you what, he's he's just gonna walk through the list just like that. We're gonna start with the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? El Chapo <laughs> forgot about him. Yeah, he can go as well. <laughs> that would be epic when I pardon all of these, and that noise you can hear is the purge siren. Yeah. It's going to be very exciting. <laughs> oh, Bill Crosby. Bye. Pardon Bill Crosby. Oh, Bill Crosby. That'd be yeah, great. Right. <laughs> oh. Really publicly. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> Well, you got to take the rough with the smooth, fella. That's freedom for you. 